on this episode of Inside the Blueprint. Snow and Ice Management Solutions. Open up a world of possibilities with custom millwork. We'll get help finding the perfect paint color. Plus, lots more. Clearing snow and ice during the winter months is essential in Boston to ensure safe passage on roads and walkways. Let's learn more about best snow removal practices from the experts at Ippolito Snow Services. It's really important to make sure that the snow is removed from properties. We have something called a duty of care to make sure that we make it safe for the public and we leave those surfaces free of ice and snow because if that doesn't happen we live in quite a litigious society and there can be uh, slip and fall claims that can be quite costly on a business and people can get hurt. The history of this company is not unlike many snow companies in that because it's a seasonal business it starts as part of another business. Vincenzo came over from Italy, my great-grandfather, and he purchased a, a service station. It started with Mills Corner Service Station in Chelsea, Mass. But it wasn't until 1973 that my father purchased his first plow truck, was clearing his own property, and local businesses came up to him and asked him, hey, can you take care of my property? And there began the the snow business 50 years later as we sit here today. Weather is a huge piece of a snow removal business. The more weather that we get, the more events that we get, the more need for our services. Some have called us the kings of the sidewalk in the city because we really thrive on that business. We know how it works. It's an on-demand business uh, in the city downtown where our services are really needed. Snow management is more than simply moving the snow from one place to another. Our business is built around snow and ice management. And that means we're thinking about your property and the work that we do for you year round. A singular focus on snow is a really big piece of what we offer. If you want high-end professional snow services, you're gonna to come to a snow-only company and that's Ippolito Snow Services. What you'd find at the end of each season, we're gonna take a portion of our profits and we're gonna do reinvestment. And that reinvestment's going to be in additional equipment, new technologies, training for our guys and folks over the off season. And there's nothing wrong with using a traditional contractor that may do landscaping of half their career, they may do excavating, but when they make their reinvestment investments at the end of the season, we tend to see that they're reinvesting in their core business, right? New lawn mowers, new hedge trimmers, as opposed to, oh, the snow equipment will be okay next year. You're always going to see the latest and greatest here at Polito. We offer a number of core services. The first, snow plowing. We're clearing snow with plows from roadways, from drive lanes. The second we offer, and this is our biggest category, is sidewalk services. We've invested completely in a separate sidewalk division. So we have people that wake up every day and all they worry about are the sidewalks for our clients. And the third one is ice control, a huge piece of this business. Ice control services between storms, during storms, is where there's a lot of risk and liability. For example, when it snows, people see the white snow on the ground and it, they're almost actually more cautious when they walk. It's what they don't see is the ice under it or the black ice or ice forming and that's where you can have a lot of slips and falls and issues. We deliver anti-icing, which is proactive. Before the storm, we're applying um, either a granular or liquid mix to get in front of that storm if the conditions are right. And then we also have de-icing and we have a number of products that are safer for green, safer for pets, safe for being on concrete. And we have those dialogues with customers. So we really try to customize our ice solutions that fit the property that we're working with. At the end of the day, you want to look for someone you can trust. The purchasing of snow is local, and that's why this business is so fragmented across the U.S. People want to see and talk to the person that's going to be providing them those services. The SIMA organization, which we're members of, is the national organization that brings us together once a year to talk about snow management across the country and how it's handled and managed. They provide education, training, and network opportunities. They've also published a cheat sheet for all of you, which basically takes you through the quick five steps and the key points you want to think about when selecting a vendor. We walk through the site with the customer and the customer will tell us where they want the snow pile, how they want it clean, which priority areas they want it clean. Hot zone is the, the zones that needs to be cleaned first and we got the orange areas which is doesn't have to be cleaned right away but also it's also important. 
We use liquid magnesium prior to the storm at times when there's not a lot of traffic on the pathways. And what it does is it helps us not, not to spread as much salt down through the storm and we'll keep this, the snow down for a longer period of time. Ensuring that your property is free of snow and ice is important for a variety of reasons. Professional snow companies are gonna take a proactive approach to reducing your risk of winter, and that takes many forms. It's going to be in the format of companies investing in forecasting services, investing in training of their crews, investing in technologies such as GPS in the truck so we have a documentation of who was where and when, investing in people to audit those properties to make sure. Snow insurance is specific. So if you've hired a provider that maybe does landscaping and snow or does excavating and snow, you have to make sure that you ask them if they have, and they'll produce a certificate of insurance for you to look at, that they have a snow specific endorsement because most policies snow is automatically excluded. So what happens if you don't ask that question and they don't have that coverage? In the event that there's a slip and fall and there's a loss and a claim, when that claim goes to get put through that provider, that provider's insurance is going to reject that claim and it's going to be financial burden of that is going to fall back on the owner of the building or the property. So making sure that they have a snow rider endorsed on their policy is very important. And if you need help with it, just talk to your agent and they'll help you. Communication before, during, and after a snow or ice event is key. Communicating with customers is the biggest piece of this job. And we want to make sure they know what to expect from our services and what not to expect. We want them to paint that picture for us because from there, we can understand where they want the piles, what they expect it to look like. And that's a really easy way to find out what the requirements really are at the end of the storm. The second piece of communication, as you can imagine, is all about the weather and about forecasting. We invest in WeatherWorks. We think these folks at WeatherWorks are best in class and we use them for all of our weather communications. The information we get from WeatherWorks comes in the format of an email that's customer friendly and ready. We push that out to all of our customers so they know what we're looking at when we're making critical decisions around how much staff we need in certain areas, what time we need them to show up, and it's all kind of based around that first inch falling and being on the ground. So we send these out and it keeps everyone up to date throughout the storm. And then the last service they offer, which is fantastic at the end, a day or two after the storm, they push out something called their certified snow totals. And that's a report that says, okay, Boston, Massachusetts, zip code 02127, you got 6.2 inches. That gets attached to our billing system. So it's really confidence in transparent billing. So we really like the offerings that they have and, and customers can take advantage of those through us. My experience working with Ippolito has been absolutely phenomenal working with somebody that's knowledgeable on time and gets the business uh, just makes the process easier to go through bids, product selection, equipment that's dedicated to certain properties. Working with an expert just makes everything else turnkey. Being early and not leaving until the job is completely done, been verified, and always having a 24-7 live person to talk to. Uh, you start to build a relationship with these folks throughout the winter because it, it really is a true partnership. Uh, going through these New England winters. At Ippy, inches matter. For more information about Ippolito Snow Services, visit their website, ippolitosnowservices.com. And of course, visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. The most exclusive luxury homes demand a high standard of quality and design. Open up a world of possibilities with custom millwork that can truly make space stand out. Whether looking to update one room or renovate your entire home, Manhattan Millworks will bring your design dreams to life. I got started in millwork at a very young age. I was about 19 years old and we started right away in high-end luxury homes and 40 years later I've never left this industry. Custom woodwork is anything probably out of the realm of standard woodwork. We all need cabinets. We all need doors, windows, etc. All of these uh, involve woodworking. But what we don't need and we do an awful lot of are things like theaters, wall paneling that is just aesthetic, detailed fireplace mantles, 
all types of running trim. Our woodwork is very opulent and it's in your face. You know, it's hard to ignore, but it does add a lot of charm to the finished product. People like to showcase all the different elements involved in a luxury home building. And woodworking is one of the premier subject matters as far as most people are concerned with their house. Staying ahead of the newest design trends while blending tradition with modern aesthetics is what sets custom millwork apart and ensures that your home reflects your unique style and personality. A lot of the houses that we're working on today are either contemporary or modern. Woodworking has had to change substantially because typically woodworking was very detailed and layered and now we are doing, it's almost a less is more philosophy. We're showing less, but we're putting more into it to adapt to the more modern and contemporary architectural representations in the high-end luxury home. We're often asked by owners after they complete their build to get involved in a variety of custom pieces. They come to us with just about anything, whether it's a 16 foot long dining room table or a contemporary furniture piece that they just can't find if it can be built in the world of wood. Depending on how much energy, time and finance, we will take on the project. It's where craftsmanship and creativity meet functionality. It's important that as we uh, begin each project, we try and organize with the, uh, the general contractor and the people that we're gonna be working alongside and try and coordinate a, a schedule, uh, you know, because everything needs to go in a certain order. So we try and make sure that uh, people are available when we're going to be installing these things or ahead of us and going ahead and getting the things we need in the places we need them. Every project is unique. Some are easier than others. As you peel back the layers of the onion, you, you discover new things that you weren't prepared for, you know, as we do some of these, you know, some from the ground up, some remodels, uh, more so in the remodels, and you have to learn to adapt and learn to adjust, you know, to get that end result we're all looking for. Keeping a high standard is very important to us. We, we want to achieve, the, you know, the client's expectations. We want to give them a, a quality product at the end of the day, so that's important to us, and, and so that's what we strive to do. From start to finish, working together and maintaining relationships for years to come. Working with Steve in Manhattan Millworks was a really good experience. All the way from the shop drawing to the installation, it was a seamless operation and they were very organized and it was a pleasure to work with them. They did everything here from cabinetry to finished carpentry. Their efficiency and professionalism and the quality of their work was fantastic. I like the challenge aspect and I like the design aspect of dealing with things that probably haven't even ever been done before. And I sit down with my team and we break it down and we just feel like anything is possible in the world of wood as long as you put the right processes in place. My advice to anybody considering a, a high-end luxury home project is um, sky's the limit. Do your homework because in today's world, it's all possible. It just depends on your managing that process and hiring qualified people to be involved with you. But let your voice be heard and chances are you're gonna end up with a, an amazing project. For more information about Manhattan Millworks, visit their website at manhattanmillworks.com. And of course, visit our website InsideTheBlueprint.com Choosing paint can be a daunting task, and not all paint is the same. There's a common misconception that paint is paint, and I think contributing to that is the fact that it's all packaged pretty much in the same container. Everything comes in the can until you open the can. And then you start to see that the formulation and the resins and the raw materials make all the difference. Color influences people and affects their emotions. Where a green is calming and a red excites you, or a yellow sparks your memory, color is very personal. With stores throughout New York City, Janovic provides high quality paint and supplies for all project sizes. Janovic is the oldest operating paint store in New York. It goes back to 1888, it has such a rich heritage and history. We've painted so many 
iconic buildings over the years and been such a part of bringing color to New York City. Uh, buildings like the Flatiron Building and the Empire State Building and new buildings like the Freedom Tower. We have different demands from different clients that we service. A theater may need a color that has no light reflection. A museum needs an exact color that's behind the Picasso painting that's on there. The hotel is really concerned with the scuff marks that could happen from suitcases going through the lobby. So we adjust to what's the right product for the right job. Knowing our customers well, we understand that they have different needs. You know, our contractors are, you know, they're not just motivated by price, they're motivated by service and they're motivated by quality products. So we've been committed to listening to our customers, you know, bringing in new products, whether it's high-end German tools or um, Venetian plasters and high-end decorative finishes. Uh, when someone walks into Janovic looking to choose a color, before they come into the store, they usually have a good idea of what they're looking for, but they need some guidance to get there. That's where we come in, to give suggestions, to give them advice based on the experience of our staff. Janovic has colorists that have been there for decades, one for over 50 years. The dedicated colorists are what sets Janovic apart. Janovic's more than just a paint store. We have paint and paint supplies, but we also have home goods, uh, custom blinds, tools, hardware, um, whatever you need for your home decorating project. There's a rich history with Janovic, and while we respect that heritage, we also look for tomorrow with the employees that will be running Janovic and the training and education that goes there. We're very much a part of key design schools where we supply color materials, education, we've had scholarships. Color is such an essential part of what we do and our business. We are the color authority and that's our registered trademark and we live it every day. To learn more about Janovic, visit their website, janovic.com, or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com. Given today's competitive job market, lots of different opportunities exist. Sometimes overlooked are the abundant career opportunities in specialized trades. As the cost of earning a traditional college degree continues to escalate, with many grads facing sky-high college debt and uncertain job prospects, today's trade school graduates are reaping the benefits of not just plentiful job opportunities, but generous incomes and long-term security. Working in the trades today is extremely important. Whether it's going to a trade school or a junior college to get certified, if you think about it, you can come to work, get you, get go to a, a school, get certified within six months, two years and come to work, get, get into the economy and go from there and really build a career. Reliance Steel and Aluminum is a, is a Fortune 500 company. We've been around since uh, 1939. We're actually a metal uh, solution provider. Uh, we operate uh, in the United States and 13 other countries around the world. And, and we've been mentioned in uh, uh, Fortune 500 magazine as one of the world's most admired companies. It's a really fine place to work and it's a place you can come and build a career. It's the kind of company I would like my kids to work in because you can come to work and build a career and there's many opportunities. Founded in 1939 and ranked as one of the world's most admired companies, Reliance Steel and Aluminum Company is a leading global diversified metal solutions provider and the largest metal service center in North America. Operating as a family of companies under more than 75 different brand names, Reliance has a network of 300 plus locations in 40 states and 13 countries. Driving for Crest Steel has been rewarding. It's offered me the opportunity to advance my, my skill, my skill set. Um, it's just offered the opportunity for me to grow with the company. I've been doing this for 25 plus years and it's, just, it's a great company to work for. Um, I personally have seen people advance through the company working in the warehouse and advancing to positions, supervisory positions. Uh, they make you feel like family. There's a lot of opportunities for growth and if you need at some time to move to another part of the company, we're nationwide. So you could always come, you're gonna have somewhere to go. I've really, really enjoyed working for Reliance. I think it's really good to start a career here. I know college isn't always the easiest thing to do and 
money isn't always easy. There's a lot of jobs that aren't very stable. And this company, it's been really great to me. I honestly would say that I'd recommend it for other people, even, even if they're in college or if they're not in college. And one of the best things that, not just one of many that keeps me at Reliance, is just, it's always room for growth, always learning, and always able to help others. You know, with Reliance coming in, it just bonded us and made us stronger to be part of Reliance. The opportunities, the benefits, everything, it's, it's, it just opens the door. You want to be part of something, build something, come work for Reliance Steel, an employer that cares about your safety and puts employee first. Above all, come work for Reliance Aluminum. If you're willing to work and you're willing to learn, you're going to advance in this company. We go above and beyond for what we do and we take care of each other and make sure everybody's safe in, in the environment we work in. Working for Reliance Steel is, is a great opportunity to get you going. And, and I would tell a young person, if, if you want to work for a company like this, it's a great company to work for, and you can move up for, you know, whatever you want to do there. Making worker safety a top priority is front and center at the nation's best industrial companies. Reliance Steel and Aluminum Company is leading the way. Our Reliance CEO, Jim Hoffman, and the Reliance Safety Team have built a culture foundation on safety personal relationships and what that is is that if we know a little bit more about our employees on a personal level then we're more apt to look at, after them and make sure that they go home well at the end of the day if i know you have family members that depend on you then i know that you need to be there for them and therefore i need to look out for your safety the company is run on a couple of things first and foremost the safety of our people we do the right things we care about our people and integrity really matters at our company. So if you're the kind of person that wants to come to work in a good uh, industry and build a career, this is a really good, fine place to work. If you're considering a career as a skilled tradesperson and desire joining a world-class company in your state or another, discover more at rsac.com forward slash careers. Launched in 2000 in Gardena, California, a small company dedicated to the idea of environmentally conscious, sustainable production of lighting products, Vision Air Lighting quickly expanded in both reputation and size. From the beginning, we started doing smaller scale jobs, everything from parks to sports facilities, and then got into automotive lighting. And as the company grew, we got into more large scale projects like smart cities and street lighting. The advent of commercially viable solid state or LED lighting was the first significant change in the industry in over 100 years. The new technology that Visioner has and why it's going to make us stand out is because an open platform, it's a single plane of glass. Currently in the today's lighting market, if I am with a university or if I'm with a city, I want to be able to control my lights, I want to be able to control my parking sensors, my oxygen sensors, any kind of thing. And any time I want to do that, I have to do that on a separate login, a separate program. What's unique to Visioner is we're an open protocol, which means we have different devices from different manufacturers that we could bring in and all operate on our own user interface. Because solid state lighting was essentially a small computer, it enabled other connected devices to interface with lighting for the first time at this level. This was the birth of smart lighting. The technology that I designed, that I developed, was a platform, a very agnostic, unique platform where we could have multiple softwares on one pane of glass. So I could actually take it to where I could bring in three or four different types of software, bring it into one, and be able to visualize everything on a single pane of glass. In the light fixtures, there's a real estate. There's a platform inside there which allows that. The light itself's not detecting that movement, but there would be a computer a brain chip that's inside that platform that allows you to be able to signal what's going on based on the camera. Just like the smartphone's evolution over the years, Pangea Link technology will integrate with applications we haven't even imagined yet. 
There's a street light almost every place you look, which can support this technology in the future. When you talk about the future and the application, it's really unlimited and it's allowed us to continue to keep desiring the city's wants and needs and learning them as they're learning them at the same time. The future for Visionaire is actually very, very bright. We're really developing things today and future-proofing our fixtures to where people can actually have access to this stuff 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. As you know, software never stops. There's, it's always an evolving thing. So in some cases, we know where we are today, but it could change in you know 24 months. It could be a totally different technology. So we're, we're trying to stay on the cutting edge of that. For more information about this new technology, please visit visionairelighting.com. information about anything you've seen on today's show or to become part of Inside the Blueprint, go to our website, insidetheblueprint.com.